in most studies done on poverty and social problems, the question of educational deprivation is frequently identified as the kernel and evil, and that principle is not confined to any one country. It has never been seriously tackled by any government in this country, but the case is improving. I uh, have been working in adult education for a very long time. I've seen adult uh, and community education move from a space where it literally depended on volunteers uh, to deliver the service where there was very little funding. In my view, a strong educational element must be part of any project that sets out to eradicate that problem of social deprivation. And show people that uh, you know learning can take place in all sorts of different spaces at work, at home, in the community or just individually for yourself. The initial effort must go into persuading adult people in deprived areas of the value of education and the desirability to bring their children to accept that culture. This is entirely different to providing courses very praiseworthy courses for adults already willing to update knowledge and skills that will benefit themselves. AINTHIS is not a provider of courses as such, but our main work is to influence policy to make sure that adult and community education gets put on the and stays on the political agenda. With the right personnel in place, backed by the necessary resources that includes finance, it could be the template in time for the elimination of social deprivation wherever it exists. I am mindful of the ongoing development nature of education in this country, and by and large it has served the nation very well. In affluent times there is an opportunity to till the scales of justice a little more favourably towards the disadvantaged. It's my intention as Minister of State for Lifelong Learning to see that further education you know, is treated on a par with first, second and third level education and is given the recognition that it deserves. part of the Adult Learning Network and uh, when I heard that there was a, a network event, a learning event or the Learning Safari, uh, we decided that we could uh, easily pin something in here in CASA. And what we did was we have a FETAC uh, food and nutrition module that we run here and the whole idea was to focus on food poverty in Ireland and internationally and the students or the participants I got very involved in uh, researching the whole project and carrying out the uh, artwork and the poster work as you can see here. It is fantastic to see Dublin Castle Conference Centre full of adult learners and people who work with them today. The theme of this year's uh, festival is Learning Matters. Uh, the Star Awards ceremony is about, is about endorsing teamwork and rewarding the fantastic efforts uh, you are all making uh, throughout the country. Pr primarily though it's about recognising the positive contribution uh, that these projects make uh, to our society uh, and indeed to our local communities. Everybody needs a champion. Everybody needs somebody, a voice in your ear saying, go on, you can do it. This is your day, this is your moment, this is your chance, this is your time. Come on, you can do it. The cross-border project from Newtown Abbey and Drogheda into Community Partnership with emphasis on good community cooperation, reconciliation, mutual trust, respect and above all, understanding. As a result of catering for the needs of parents with literacy difficulties in Wicklow, it has been noted that improvements in behavioural and social skills went hand in hand. This is a link in the chain of breaking the cycle of educational deprivation. An initiative targeting the training and development needs of women in North Leitrim as a winner in the Connacht Community category 
The importance of education in recovery from addiction is highlighted by two SEALSHA projects. And SEALSHA, which means lights, is an ideal word, and in this case it could signify the curative powers of the lights of education. Both get Anthos Awards, the Kilbarra Coast Community Project and the Dublin City and County Reach. The Shout Project has a provincial catchment and offers training to young people with Down syndrome. There's also a facility for training people from the health, education and community sectors and to date over 3,000 have availed of this wonderful service. Letter Kenny Project which is directed at volunteers organising courses and action favouring those in disadvantage. The Good Morning Letter Kenny programme is a particularly wholesome feature and simple in concept. It involves volunteers phoning people who live alone and who like nothing better from time to time than a simple old-fashioned chat. What could be more appropriate in these times than the IILT project, a National Star Award recipient, is directed at language learning for immigrants to this country. It is obviously appreciated by those people lucky enough to be able to avail of it at several centres throughout Ireland. The Premier County project in Knock and Raleigh featured a parent group supporting enterprise that had many aspects to it depending on the needs of the local parents at a particular time. The Survival English series of radio programmes broadcast by Castlebar Community Radio. WIT was involved by way of providing certificate level courses that have been so successful that some of their adult students can be found in paid community work even before they finish their courses. I congratulate all the winners for providing valuable services that fill a portion of a large enough educational void. It's a community drugs programme that was set up 10 years ago and it runs a number of projects but the main project it runs is to help uh, recovering adult ex-drug users. Sometimes in these programmes there's a push to have people at a certain place and they're forced to be at a certain place. Whereas what we do is we deal with people where they are uh, at any given time. I'm not sure if, if it's up to a, it's a programme like ours to cure people. Uh, what our programme is all about is creating space, safe space for people to learn and if they want to move on, if they want to take advantage. Because I was very into myself and I wouldn't talk of myself or speak out of myself or have the ability to even stand here and talk now. Like to learn how to build up your self-esteem. Over the years, through KCCP, I've been building up my own self-esteem and been able to present myself well. And I'm trying to drug you stop that and just get counselling. There's been loads of good things that I've been looking from. The festival is really a promotional exercise and what we're trying to do with this is to publicise the value and importance of adult and community education. We look forward to enlightened times for education in the years ahead with the inclusion for all as one of the guiding stars.